Renting a car in Europe always has one perplexing aspect. Most rental cars are manual, giving you little choice in the matter. Automatics are available, but they're typically much more expensive. Although things have improved in recent years, a decade ago, it was common to find small airports or towns in Europe with no automatic cars available for rent at all. Recent trends show that automatics are gradually gaining ground in Europe, particularly in larger sedans. For instance, in the UK, sales of new automatic cars surpassed those of manual cars for the first time in 2020. In Germany, the market share of automatic cars is expected to approach nearly 30%. However, manual cars still dominate in countries like France and Italy, which have a love affair with smaller cars. Across Europe as a whole, automotive media estimate that about 70 to 80% of cars on the road are still manual. This isn't too surprising when you consider that the global norm leans toward manual cars. The US along with Canada, Japan, Australia, New Zealand, and South Korea are among the few countries where automatics dominate the market. One of the reasons manual cars are popular globally is because they're generally cheaper. This is particularly the case in economically disadvantaged countries, including India, which has a high proportion of manual cars. But why does affluent Europe still hold on to manual transmissions? The post-World War II era has much to do with it. Europe, devastated by the war, had no other option but to focus on recovery and rebuilding. Luxuries were out of the question, leading to smaller, more affordable cars like the Austin 1100 becoming the norm. Contrast that with the US, which emerged victorious and economically booming from World War II. Back then, the US had triumphed in the war and its economy was thriving. The pride of being the world's superpower was truly sky-high. Everything was go big or go home, whether it was buildings, shops, roads, or cars. Hence, large cars like the Chevrolet Impala became popular. Given the post-war context, the history and geography of cities influenced the design of cars in contrasting ways between regions. European cities have histories spanning hundreds of years. Their restoration also stayed true to this history. As a result, most European city streets are narrow and winding. Moreover, since these cities were often originally built on hills with defense in mind, they tend to have steep inclines. It's an environment that naturally favors smaller cars. In contrast, American cities were usually planned on expansive flat lands, featuring straight and wide roads. That made large cars practical in the US, but not in Europe. By the late 1980s, automatic cars had already become the norm in the US. However, they hadn't made a significant impact in Europe. Due to the narrow, winding, and steep roads, manual transmissions were still preferred. With the technology of that era, automatic transmissions couldn't match the rapid acceleration and high power provided by manual ones on such roads. Another critical factor was the consistently higher gasoline prices in Europe compared to the US. Although it varied by country on average, European gas prices were more than twice those in the US even today. While the US sees prices around $4 per gallon, Europe often exceeds $8 per gallon. Naturally, fuel efficiency became a paramount consideration when choosing a car. Manual cars are typically 30% lighter than their automatic counterparts. Since humans, not machines, are handling the gear shifts, the transmission system is simpler and thus lighter. A lighter car naturally offers better fuel efficiency. Generally, manual cars had about 20% better fuel economy than automatics. However, this distinction is becoming a thing of the past. Continuous improvements in automatic vehicles have narrowed the fuel efficiency gap between automatic and manual transmissions. Nowadays, it's said that there's barely any difference in fuel economy between the two. Moreover, if you don't shift gears at the perfect moment with a manual, its fuel efficiency can actually drop below that of modern automatics. Persisting with manual transmissions in such circumstances can be attributed to a kind of inertia stemming from their historical efficiency advantages. Another reason Europeans stick with manual cars is the lower maintenance cost. Manual transmissions have a simpler design, which usually means a longer lifespan and fewer issues. Even when they do need repairs, the cost is generally lower. This frugality was especially valued in post-war Europe, where a complicated and expensive automatic seemed like an unnecessary waste of money. Moreover, lower car prices usually lead to lower insurance premiums 
and annual taxes, helping to keep overall costs down compared to automatics. There's also a social bias at play, albeit a less significant one. There's a perception that automatics are for women, while real men drive manuals. The idea is that being in total control of your car, with both hands and feet engaged in the act of driving, is a masculine endeavor. While this stereotype has waned somewhat, there was a time in Europe when driving an automatic would have you unfairly labeled as gay. This social stigma did make some hesitate to opt for an automatic transmission. So to sum it up, manual cars have been an economic and practical choice in Europe, shaped by post-war austerity, geography, road conditions, and fuel and maintenance costs. This mindset still persists, making automatics appear as a luxury option. On the flip side, the rapid adoption of automatics in some countries is largely due to urbanization. In cities like Los Angeles, San Francisco, and New York, where stop-and-go traffic is a daily ordeal, the advantages of driving an automatic become much clearer. If European cities were as densely populated as ours, it's likely that automatics would be much more prevalent by now. But the shift is coming. Luxury European cars are already phasing out manual transmissions, and even sports cars, which traditionally featured manuals, are now exclusively being produced with automatics. As for the future era of electric vehicles, it's pretty much a given that they'll be automatic. In summary, manual cars held a competitive edge in almost every aspect, except for the convenience of operation. As manual cars slowly become extinct and automatics become the norm, it's evident that convenience is a fundamental human desire.